Hi, Stuart. I just wonder if you can speak a little bit more uh, uh, about. Yeah. Um, I wonder if you can speak a little bit more about letting people go and detachment. About letting people go? Yes, and detachment. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I can probably talk forever on this. In fact, I do talk forever on this <laughs> subject. <laughs> um, look, I mean, look, there's a very basic reality that every human being confronts every day of their lives. And one day, the reality is one day we have to let go of everything. We have to let go of the people we love, the people we don't love. We have to let go of all the things that we live with that are precious to us. You know, and uh, and most of those things... Uh, you know, people just cling to. They think they represent some kind of defense mechanism that keeps the world from hurting them. And it's not true. You understand? The only thing that keeps the world from not hurting people is themselves. That they have not opened enough, deep enough inside to be connected to spirit. And that connection, that openness is something that when people reach inside and try to do some hurt or damage to you, there's nothing for them to grab onto. Understand? There's nothing for them to, they, in order to reach you, they have to open. They have to, they have to open their hearts. They have to feel love. They have to truly respect what you have managed to do with your life. And in order to do this, you need incredible inner strength. You need to be really grounded inside so that the heart stays open. You need to have a quiet mind with absolute minimum of conflicting things going on inside you, really a state of inner peace. And in order to attain that state, if you don't build a system inside that enables you to do it, Forget about it. You understand? There's always going to be something in life that's going to come and, you know, try to tear people apart. Always. So it's totally dependent upon how deeply one works on himself or herself. That's the best protection. I mean, look, I agree with you, Alicia, and probably everyone else here, that we live in a crazy world. I mean, I've gotten to the point where it's almost impossible to read the news. I mean, everybody's shooting everybody. It's just insane what's going on. And I, you know, I realize, you know, that there's nothing that I personally, Stuart, can do about that. There is something I can do about myself. And what I can do about myself is build an inner life, in which I've done all my life. And it took years to do this. 
build an inner life that is strong enough to where I am connected to the source of creative energy in the universe. That guides my life. And that gives me the strength inside to detach myself from all of the madness that goes on in the world and not get swept away in it, not get upset by it, not get angry because of what goes on. How can you get angry at something that there's nothing you can do to fix? And that might sound strange to some of you, but just think, I mean, look, I can't remember, I've, I've said this a billion times, can't remember one day in my life when the world hasn't been crazy. Not one day. And when I was younger, I was out, you know, picketing and marching and, you know, <clears throat> going to change the world. And finally, I really, one day I realized, Stuart, you can't do this. You can change yourself. You can get strong enough to have compassion for other human beings, to love other human beings, and get strong enough inside yourself so that if people come and really want to do something to help themselves, you can help them do it. You can't help people that don't want to do anything to help themselves, that know better. So it took me a long time to arrive at that place inside me, which finally said, well, you know, Stuart, what can you do? I mean, you know, we picketed and yelled and marched and against segregation, and, and now it's worse than it's ever been. Against war, we had the Vietnam War then, and war, and it's worse. Every time you read the media, there's a war somewhere going on, stupid wars for nothing to satisfy some idiot's ego, that they have the power to amass hundreds of thousands of people to conquer another country. And all it is is a satisfaction of their ego. It's just stupid. But if you tell that person it's stupid, they would chop your head off. <laughs> That's all that would happen. <clears throat> So the person we can really fix is ourselves. The person that we can do something in a profound way about is ourselves. By transforming the human to the spiritual inside ourselves, connecting with God, opening, and allowing that higher energy to guide our lives, which means that we interact with other human beings with love, with compassion, even people that do things we don't like, you know, because nobody really does things we don't like. Everything that's done to us, everything that people bring to us is a reflection of something we need to work on and to grow inside ourselves. And if you begin to see that world that way, there's no more negative energy. It's just energy and ways of learning how to grow and how to develop yourself and how to get stronger. I mean, it's like they speak about this in the Bible, you know, turn the other cheek. Who's going to throw the first stone? I mean, all of this stuff. And it's trite almost, but it's very profound. It's very, very profound. Because we attract exactly what we give off. The world we see is a mirror image of ourselves. I would say confidently in every human being, there's a war going on. A war, you know, they're dragons fighting with each other inside every single you. And what you see outside in the politics and the, you know, all the stuff that goes, it's a reflection of what goes on inside every single human being. Now, if people would get centered and balanced and open their hearts and quiet the mind and learn how to live that way, it, war would come to an end. You know, there would be no more war inside people. But as I've said a hundred billion times, try to get eight billion people to do that. Not, not going to work. But each individual can do that. And completely learn how to transform themselves and to see the world in a much more conscious way. 
interact with the world in a more conscious way. But that is the responsibility of every person. And my God, you know, I've been talking about this for what, 30 years now? And I mean, there's 20 people here. Listen, you know, I mean, there's something that once you get up in front of the United Nations and, you know, <laughs> educate them. If they want peace in the world, you know, people have to get peace inside themselves. How are they going to get peace inside themselves? They got to work on themselves and develop an inner life that brings that about. And most people are more interested in money and power and success and business and, you know, stuff like that, you know. I mean, very few people say, well, how do I do this? How do I transform myself? And I, I don't have another answer to this. And this answer took, you know, maybe 30 years for me to come up with. Of working on myself, of understanding that my only solution to that angry steward and that steward that got upset at everybody and everything, and you know, was to get above it, to get stronger than it, to learn how to allow everybody, instead of being an enemy, to be a teacher telling me what I need to do to grow. And then you embrace them. You're not angry at them. They're telling you. I mean, I've tell you how many times, like Rudy and his mother, his mother used to come to him, and she always, he would come in feeling top of the world, and she would point out the one thing that was wrong. And she was a master at it. You know? And he would just smile, and he would say, Stuart, took me a long time to learn to love her unconditionally and to understand that I couldn't pay a therapist a thousand dollars an hour to point out what's wrong with you, which my mother does in five seconds. You know? So instead of being upset at what people do, listen to them, learn something, get stronger then all the bullshit in yourself. Get stronger than the nonsense that people bring. Or listen to it, and maybe some of it really applies to you that you need to work on in order to grow in your life. And then instead of being angry at them because they're critical of, you know, have a little forgiveness. And what does it matter, you know? Because 10 minutes later, everybody forgets everything, you know? People just go on, life goes on. And then parents and children and husbands and wives and whatever, you know? I mean, there's peace in the valley. Because people are listening to each other, learning from each other thanking each other for being in their lives and for giving them opportunities to grow because of their presence. Now, there reaches a point also where people, you know, I mean, they're, you know, they're, 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 there's continuous vampirism, you know, where people just consume and con and you can say, no, I don't need this anymore in my life. You can move on. I don't need to have people around me like that. Let me move on. Say, no, I've exhausted this cycle. I am free of this. I have gotten stronger than it. It doesn't affect me inside, and I don't ha have to be around people sucking my blood. And that's a sign of strength, too, to be able to say no. And I promise you, you'll let go of those people and you will attract another crowd. <laughs> they will come. And, and some will bring criticism. Some will bring unconditional love. I mean, they bring everything. But it'll be on a higher level. Does anyone else have a question they would like to ask? I hope this is clear, you know, I'm trying to encapsulate 
what took me a really long time to learn. I must mean it, you know? And things I heard when I was in my late 20s, mid 20s from my teacher, Rudy, that took years for me to absorb and to learn them. And more important than anything, not just to learn them, but to live them, to live that way. Does anyone else have a question they would like to ask? And that all is contingent upon developing a chakra system that can do two things. Chakra system that can be connected to higher energy in the universe, receiving shakti and receiving that energy that nurtures you you know, and really feeds you in your daily life and living in the world, allowing that energy to guide you through karma so that you ultimately reach a place of forgiveness, of love, of gratitude, of just the highest possible emotions that enable you to interact with other human beings. And that's working out your karma. So it's not one or the other, it's the two of them, a marriage of higher energy and life. Karma, life that we actively live every day. And one can't be separated from the other. Although people really try hard to do that. Does anyone else have a question they would like to ask? Okay. Uh, as I announced, there'll be no class this Sunday. I'm holding a retreat here in Connecticut and Stanford and people are coming from different parts of the country. And, and, uh, and then next week, there will be a class Tuesday, but I, I really honestly ask you in all humility, I need to take vacation. <laughs> I really need to take four days, five days and just, you know, whatever. So I'm going to take next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. There will be a class, you know, this coming Monday and the following Monday. But those days, I'm going to just try to recharge myself. I want to bring a higher level to all of you and to myself, and I need to be recharged. So I think that's important. Does anyone have a question? Anyone else have a question? Okay, God bless you all. And again, I will thank you all. Oh, I just want to say one other thing. You know, people make donations here. I don't talk about it very much, but maybe once a month, I'd like to say thank you to the people for supporting this for making it possible for me to pay the rent so I can do this you know seven times a week and uh god bless you all and thank you for the generosity that comes from your hearts and for making that kind of an effort i really appreciate it don't think it goes unappreciated so thank you and bless you for doing that and helping to support me doesn't make me in any way rich, but it helps to pay some of my bills. And that, that really is important. So thank you, bless you, and for being in my life. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all next month, next Tuesday, actually. So God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart.
Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.